hi everyone and welcome to the channel so today in this video we are going to learn what is lightning data table and how we can create a custom lightning data table in lwc so what is lightning data table so in salesforce with the help of a lightning data table we can display our records data in a tabular format within a lwc component so when we create a custom lwc component we use this attribute that is lightning data table to display the records data in a tabular format through the lwc component so let me show you an example of a lightning data table so as of now i logged into my salesforce developer account so this is the custom lightning data table that i have created using the lightning web component and in this i have displayed the opportunity data and the data is fetched dynamically using the apex controller class and that also i am going to explain in this video that how you can fetch the data dynamically to display in the lightning data table so this is the custom lightning data table and in salesforce we also have some inbuilt lightning data table so in salesforce we have list view and in the list view also you will see the data in the tabular format so it is also a kind of inbuilt lightning data table in salesforce so now let's move ahead and see how we can create a custom lightning data table using the lightning web components so to create a custom lightning data table we have to create a lightning web component in which we are going to use the lightning data table attribute to define the data table so to create the lwc component i am going to use the vs and in the vs code i have already connected my org and if you haven't set up your org with the vs code then i will give a step by step tutorial link in the description from where you can see how we can set up vs code with our salesforce org so here you can see the lwc folder so here first we are going to create the component so i'm going to name it as my lightning data table so here first i have to click on create lightning web component and here i will name it as my lightning data table so when you create a lightning web component make sure that you use the camel case that means the first letter of the label should be small and the second letter should be in capital and after entering the label click on the enter button and here again press enter so now the lwc component is created and you will get three files that is html js and the meta.xml file so in the html we are going to define the ui of data table using the lightning data table attribute and in the js file we are going to define the logic of defining the columns for the data table so first i will show you how you can create a lightning data table for a static data so for this i am going to define the data in the js file so first we are going to define the data so here i will so in the lightning data table i am going to display the columns id name email salary and the joining date so the data will be defined as in the curly braces i will enter id then name after this email field so in the same way i will create another record to display in the data table so i will copy this one and here change the values for this so after defining the data we need to define the columns so for that we will create an array of columns so this is how you will define it so in the columns you have to map the data with the header columns so you have for that you have to define the label and the field name so this label is what we are going to see as the header in the lightning data table so i will enter the label for the field name so the label will be name and it will be in strings and then we have to enter the field name and the field name will be the name so here we have entered the name so the field name is case sensitive so make sure that you have entered correct cases for the field name so here the next column for the email and the joining date so here i have defined the table headers for the name email and the joining date so for the email field we have to define the type of the field so the type of this field is email and also for the joining date field the type is going to be a date field now we are going to define the ui of the lightning data table so for that we will go to the html so here in the html file we will define the ui of the lightning data table so first we are going to define the heading so for the heading i am going to use the attribute lightning card and the table title is going to be custom lwc data table so using the attribute lightning card you can define the title of the lightning data table and after this using the attribute lightning data table we are going to define the table so with lightning data table the the lwc component will render your data in the tabular format and in this lightning data table we will map the attributes that we have defined in the js file so the key attribute is the id and the table data is the data that we have defined and this is the columns array so here we have defined our data not with the table data but with the data so as of now we have mapped the logic of js file in the lightning data table so with this the data will be fetched from the data over here and it will be rendered in the ui of the data table and after this we have to make this table exposed for the lightning pages for that we will go to the meta.xml file 
and here select through and after this we need to define the targets so to define the targets we need to use the tag target and in the target we have to enter the value lightning app page lightning record page and the lightning home page so with this configuration the lightning web component will be accessible to the lightning app page and at last we will deploy it so for that right click on the lightning web component and here select sfdx deploy the source to org so now the web component is deployed to the org and now we need to add this lightning data table to the app page so i will go to the custom app page that is there in my org so this is the custom app page where we are going to deploy the lightning data table so for that first you have to click on the settings icon and then select edit page so as we click on the edit page the lightning data table will open in the lightning app builder and here we have to search our lightning web component that we have created so this is the component that we have created my lightning data table so here we will drag and drop it so you can see this is the data that we have defined in the js file so the data is displayed over here and you can see it is displayed in the tabular format so here we will click on the save button and go back to the lightning app page so you can see the data is displayed in the lightning web component in the tabular format so this is how you can create a custom lightning data table so in this example we have used the static data that is we have entered the data manually in the js file so instead of this we can also fetch the data dynamically so for that we need to create a controller class so how to do that so to create a controller class you have to go to the classes folder that is over here and in this you have to right click and create on the and select the option create an apex class and i have already created a class for this that is opportunity controller so with this we are going to dynamically fetch and display the opportunity records in the data table so as you create the class you have to enter the label and after this you will see this code public with sharing class opportunity controller and here make sure that you include aura enable cacheable equals to true and after this we will define a static list to get the opportunity records and here you have to write the sql query for the fields that you want to fetch in the lightning data table so here in this lightning data table i will display the field name amount close date and stage name from the opportunity and after creating the controller class deploy it as a source to the org and now we'll go back to the lightning data table and here we need to make some changes so here instead of entering the data manually we are going to fetch it dynamically from the controller class so for this we need to make some changes in the js file so first we need to import the controller class so for that we will import opportunities get opportunities so here will be the controller class name opportunity controller and then the method name that is get opportunities so the columns here are going to be the constant so i will move the columns over here and here we have to define columns as constant columns so here we need to define the columns according to according to the field names of the opportunity so here for the opportunity name i will enter the label opportunity name and the field name will be name and you can also check the field names from the object setups fields and relationships and the next column is going to be amount and after this is stage field so the field name for the stage field is a stage name and the type and the last field we are going to define is the close date that is opportunity close date so the label i will keep as close date and then in the field name we will enter the api name of the field so as of now we have defined the column so after this move to the next part where we have to map the data that is fetched from the controller class so to map the data we are going to use the wire api method so for that so for that i will import the wire method so here it will go like data and then columns so this is to track the data and and after the 2022 updates of lwc we don't need to use the track api otherwise we need to import the track and define the track decorators over here so as of now we don't need to do that and at last to track error and this is to track the errors and now using the wire method we will map the opportunities that is the fetched opportunity data so we are fetching with the controller class method get opportunities so we will select that so using the wire decorator we have mapped the data that is fetched from the controller class and if the data is fetched properly then it, then it will display the data using the this dot data and if there will be any error then it will display the error so after making the configuration of the js file we will go to the we will go to the html file so in the html file we don't need to make any changes it will be as it is like what we have used in the like what we have used for the static data 
and again i will deploy this updated code to the org so every time you make the changes in the code you need to deploy the source code to the org and after this we will go back to the lightning app page and here you can see the data table so the changes are not reflecting so again i will edit the lightning page so here, here we can see two columns but one column is missing over here so here i would like to add one more attribute that if data equals to true then only it will render the template and again i will deploy the source to the org so here you can see we have fetched and display all the data from the opportunity controller class and at last we will click on the save button and then we will go back to the lightning app page and here you will see the data that is fetched and displayed from the lightning controller class and it is displayed in the tabular format using the lightning using the lightning data table attribute so this is how you can create a custom lightning data table in salesforce and display your data and display your data in a tabular format and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye